When there's a hurricane coming, uh, it does keep me pretty busy. As the senior meteorological forecaster on the HMCS Max Bernays, it's Sergeant Holly Richards duty to stay on top of current and future weather conditions. Richards took me on a tour through the Royal Canadian Navy patrol vessel and showed me all the little things that solve the challenges the military faces when taking on the weather. So we actually have a wind sensor rather than an anemometer on these ships. These ships are designed to work in an Arctic environment. As with anything in the military, there's always a backup, so Sergeant Richards uses both the wind sensor and handheld anemometer to get a more accurate weather picture. We can actually input what we get on the anemometer and then we take the ship's speed and direction and we can calculate what the true winds are using this. Here on the bridge you can get live readings of wind, air pressure, dew point and even relative humidity. On ship, visibility can impact everything, and there's an old school backup for that one, too. So the ship itself actually has a foghorn, but this is a nice backup. It is a handheld. There are numerous locations around the ship available to Richards to make observations out the window or even download the latest weather radar. So we actually have our own weather office, the Canadian Forces Weather Office. Data on things like ceiling height, which is very important to helicopters and all aircraft, can be double checked with field equipment. This big guy is our handheld salometer so it shoots a laser up and then return and it gives us the height of the ceiling. Richard says the long hours spent out at sea are well worth it. You work hard when you're at sea but when you get into port we're able to go ashore and honestly it's one of the best things about sailing is actually getting to see the different parts of the world.